Back here at home tonight, thousands in the Michigan State University community gathered on campus for a candlelight vigil. They honored and remembered the three MSU students who tragically lost their life Monday night on campus. The vigil was held at The Rock, a landmark on MSU's campus since the late 1800s. Kelly Vaughn was at that vigil. She joins us live at The Rock. And Kelly, it's such a special place for the MSU community and all the more symbolic as people were really leaning on each other there tonight. Yeah, yeah, you still that is right. It's a rock that's repainted throughout the year for special events, but tonight the rock now surrounded in a sea of flowers representing just a fraction of the people who came here to pay their respects tonight. Students, staff and community members united as one. To those we have lost and to those who now heal, we stand Spartan strong. Those are the words now painted on the rock and is the message to the thousands at the MSU vigil. Kate and Lauren Brukink are sisters and MSU students. They are third generation Spartans following in the steps of their parents and their grandparents. It's just out of everywhere. It happened here kind of feeling just you never think that it's going to be where you are. Lauren is a freshman during Monday's mass shooting. She was hiding in her dorm alone in the dark. I'm just in my room looking at my window, making sure they're closed. It's like, am I doing enough? Her sister Kate is a junior. She says mass shootings are a reality they've had to reckon with since they were kids. Unfortunately, we haven't seen much lasting change or any change really that has prevented these from happening. So it's still our reality and it just kind of builds this sense of cynicism within our generation. Students have been supporting one another, but there's a type of support only a mother can give. Heather and Marissa hold signs offering free mom hugs. I just made sure that I whispered to each one how proud I was of them, um, that they were so brave at a time when they just shouldn't have to be. Their signs read, I'll hold you tight until you let go, just like a mom would do if she were here. And several students breaking down when we were just hugging them tightly. They just needed that, that reassurance that hopefully everything's going to be okay. Both women say it's been incredibly hard watching young people go through this again. Thoughts and prayers aren't working. Our children are dying. This is not okay. Many here tonight wondered if this will be the shooting that brings about lasting change, but they say they are doubtful. One student told me about about a statewide school walkout for gun reform that they're trying to organize for Monday. Reporting from Michigan State University, I'm Kelly Vaughn for CBS News Detroit.